Hey guys, Thunder E here, and I have a cool video for you. This is the uh, GeForce Now beta on an LG OLED TV. Yes, you can actually download the app on your TV right now. You have an LG TV. This is the C1 OLED. Now, I apologize, I haven't had a video for you guys in a while, but here we have one. So, we have a C1 OLED, we've downloaded the app. You can see the GeForce Now app in the right hand side of the TV, uh, which we can go ahead and click uh, and definitely get into. Now, you do have to sign into your LG account for you to install the app. That's just something that has to happen. But once you do that, you can launch the app and this is a beta app. Uh, so I'm signed into my account. And the first thing you see is you can search for your games and you have uh, a, an icon menu in the top left hand corner. Um, and then of course I have my library of games at the very top there. So those are the games that I have connected currently right now uh, to the application. Uh, I can go to that top left hand corner. I can go into settings and you see the various settings that you have for this, uh, this uh, app right now. So you can go ahead and upgrade your GeForce Now subscription. Uh, you can activate it. Uh, you can check, change your streaming quality and you can set your location specific or auto. Uh, so, and also you can connect uh, different game stores like the Epic Game Store is right there um, as well. So going back to the main menu here, you can see again, top row is all the games that I have connected. And you're gonna see there's some issues with that in a second, but those are uh, the games I've played previously in GeForce Now. Then you have the free to play section uh, after the GFN Thursday, you also have RTX on supported games, featured games, then you have your different genres, action, you've also got adventure, you've got role playing, you've got racing, and so on and so forth. So it kind of goes all the way down uh, there. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into a game and see how it loads. So I'm thinking for this though would be, um, I might do Cuphead. Uh, so those are all the games I've actually played on GeForce Now in the past, but I think Cuphead is one that I will go ahead and connect uh, and play. So once you click on it, it gives you this uh, pop-up menu screen. You can see the game, uh, how many players can play. Um, it's part of your library, so hit play, and that should take you, this game actually is available on Steam, so that should take me to uh, Steam itself to actually go ahead and play the game. There is a loading process to it, so that is something to take note. And I wanted to kind of show you the full um, process without with minimal cuts here, so you kind of know how it actually works and functions, some of the issues I faced and some of the issues that I didn't face. So here it is right now. Uh, I'm in Steam. I can go ahead and either log into my account or jump to my account, which is already there, or join if I choose to. And then I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Okay, so I'm signed in, uh, Cuphead is there. I can see it's available to play. So here is where I ran into some issues. It says purchase, even though I actually own this game, but for whatever reason, it's asking me to go ahead and purchase it. So I did run into that issue with this. So what I'm gonna do is jump out and try a different game. I'm gonna show you something else that happened as well. Okay, so I decided to try Tomb Raider. Uh, because I own all the Tomb Raider games, and uh, should I try Shadow of the Tomb Raider, or should I try Rise? Uh, I'll try Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, and see how that actually goes. Again, same process, we're going to jump in, and uh, we should be able to jump right back into Steam. It's going to kind of load up that process, because it's going to load up and launch the game directly from the GeForce Now servers. Uh, that's how it actually works, and we'll see what happens this time around. Uh, but it's interesting to see that this is happening because it looks like we're going to be having things like GeForce Now, Stadia, Xbox Game Pass directly on our TVs and we don't have to have a console or anything else, which is pretty cool. So again, this is my uh, Steam uh, library here. You can see um, update build. I can see Tomb Raider. So let's go to Tomb Raider again. Um, it says update build. It's not on this window. Okay. So that's Shadow of the Tomb Raider since I didn't launch that directly. Can't play the game. Let's go back. Let's go to what's installed. And again, it's sell me purchase. So I kind of ran into this problem a couple of times with a few games. But the one game that did work for me is The Witcher 3, which I am going to show you right now.
The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. It actually worked, thank God. So it is starting up here and uh, we, it's muted, but let's just uh, see how audio comes up. It has audio. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and uh, continue game. All right, it's trying to skip. Can't skip right now, but so far it's uh, running and uh, let's play. So graphically, this kind of looks like we're at, I don't know, 720p-ish. Okay. Aha, the Royal Griffin is dead. So you can see the quality, it's not the greatest. Uh, it kind of looks like a PS3 game right now. You know, so that is what you get graphically. So far it plays well. Um, there was some lag, but not crazy. Again, what you need is a fast interconnection, internet connection, and then you can actually go ahead and game as much as you want. Let's go ahead and pause this for a second. Like what, live and learn, right? Let's, let's just try and skip through this. So that is the, that's the whole process here with uh, streaming. Uh, quality is what you see. Vesemir, I can't wait for The Witcher season two to come up. Uh, let's see, it's my damn horse, it's Roche. On, Roche. Let's do this. All right. So you get the idea. Now let's see if we can go ahead um, and head back to the main menu. I don't want to do that. So text the game. Boom, and here we are. So that is pretty cool. That is GeForce Now. Um, I had some issues playing some other games that I own. For whatever reason, they just didn't work, which was like Cuphead. They said I didn't own that, as well as also Tomb Raider, which I own all of them. So um, just be, be mindful. Uh, it's still early, it's a beta. So if you have any questions, any comments, guys, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and Always enjoy your entertainment.